Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and weekend ahead. Brought to you by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, and of course, the only place where you're going to be seeing a flying forecast for the UK uh, updated twice a week. Uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? I'm delighted to see the viewing figures. The number of people watching this now is uh, absolutely tremendous. So thank you very much for all your support. Um, this is how things shape up during this week. Actually, some decent flying weather to be found. As we get later in the season, of course, um, our opportunities for flying sort of shorten as the days shorten, and it won't be long either before we really are compressed into um, just a few flying hours. So make the most of it, because this week is looking pretty good. We've got some showers around on Tuesday, not many. Then Thursday, uh, I think Wednesday as well, is looking pretty good. Um, thundery showers in the west, though, by the time we get to Friday and more of a mixed weekend. I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Um, first up, though, if you want to learn more about weather, take you beyond the PPL, then uh, you need to come to Aviation Weather School Part 1. I'll be holding my next classroom-based course in just a month's time on Saturday the 16th of September. So if you've been delaying booking, now is your chance. Get in there. Um, I've got a couple of places left and the course runs from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. I'll show you how to spot weather windows five days in advance. I'll show you how to make most use of the forecast that you're seeing every day and extract every, every pound you can from the money that you're spending on flying. Met is not that difficult, you know. I know you might say, oh yeah, it's easy for you. It isn't that difficult when it's explained properly to you and that's exactly what I'll do. We'll have you all as expert weather people by the end of the course. So if you want to book your place, go to weatherschool.co.uk now, scroll down and you can see here just on the right hand side, you can book your place as the classroom based course. It'll be super to see you there. Okay, so this is how Monday shapes up. Quite a wet one, little area of low pressure, tracking its way northeastwards during Monday afternoon. Basically, it's wet, it's yuck across many parts of England and Wales. Actually, the southwest and southern England, not bad getting into this evening. Few showers for western Scotland, but dry for eastern Scotland with some decent spells of sunshine here and some decent flying weather to be found. On to Tuesday, that area of low pressure is out in the North Sea. We pick up more of a northwesterly flow for most of us. And actually, it looks like it's been a fair day. 4,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. But watch out for a few showers coming into Northern Ireland, into Northwest England, Western Scotland. These just make it marginal in the showers. Bases of around two to 3,000 feet tops at about 15,000 feet. So even then, not bad. Now, Wednesday, a fair down Wednesday, it looks like decent fly conditions for most of us. Early morning mist patches against that time of year, isn't it? But they will clear very quickly and they'll be fair. 4,000 foot bases, tops about 7,000 feet. Just watch for one or two showers over the hills of Scotland. Here we could find tops of about 10 to 12,000 feet, but generally it's fair. Bit of a subtle change for Thursday. Flyable for most and, and generally a fair day right through 4,000 foot bases. 10,000 foot tops, maybe a little bit more cloud across the far south east later on, but generally it is going to be a fair day. Um, the east southeast wind picking up, nothing too strong, around about 12 to 15 knots at the most. And then Friday, more changes starting to take place Friday. We've got some outbreaks of thundery rain trying to get in to southwest Ireland, non very far here with mist and fog patches getting on to a western and southern coasts of Ireland, also perhaps southwest Wales later and getting into southern coasts of England. Bases here 2,000 feet, tops at 18,000 feet. Elsewhere it is generally flyable, it's a fair one. Bases 4,000 feet, tops at 8,000 feet and quite breezy though, that wind coming in from the east, we could be looking 15 to 20 knots, gusting up to 25, maybe even 30 knots across the coasts of uh, eastern England. So just keep an eye on that, but otherwise a fair day. Now that thundery rain then tracks its way northwards overnight. By Saturday, we're seeing showers across Scotland here, marginal conditions, more persistent rain affecting Ireland. So non VFR here, but for many, it looks like it should still be basically viable. Three to 5,000 foot basis tops about 10 thousand feet. Just an odd shower developing during the afternoon. 
And then Sunday, uh, hints of things actually looking pretty good on Sunday, more of a southwesterly flow through Sunday. Looks like we're going to be finding bases around about the uh, 3,000 foot mark, tops probably up at about 10,000 feet, but overall pretty decent conditions. So whatever your plans for this week, it's not looking bad at all. Make the most of it. It's been a fair while coming, hasn't it? And don't forget, get yourself across to weatherschool.co.uk now to get yourself booked into Aviation Weather School on Saturday the 16th of September. It'd be super to see you there. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you do, have a fantastic flying week. I might well see you down at Hapenny Green. If you're there, come over and say hello. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.